Hey guys, Fakunos Maisty here with Android Police. I'm sure most of you use Google Chrome as your primary browser, not just on your phone, but your desktop, tablet, and other supported devices. It makes sense. Chrome has always been fast, reliable, and simple to use. Plus, it doesn't overwhelm you with unnecessary features or an outdated looking interface. It will autofill passwords and user information, has offline viewing, allows you to see websites you visited or things you have searched from your other Chrome connected devices, and so forth. But there is a feature that Chrome has never aimed to implement until a few weeks back, and that is an ad blocker. Blocking ads completely on Chrome wouldn't make sense for Google because the company heavily depends on ad revenue. It also recognizes that other websites rely on ads as well. Unfortunately, some websites take advertising to an extreme by adding too many or making them intrusive or annoying. Chrome's new built-in ad blocker works to prevent these undesirable ads from being a problem. According to the Coalition for Better Ads, undesirable types of advertisements include pop-ups, prestigial ads which may block content with a countdown, Autoplaying voice ads with sound, the most annoying in my opinion, full screen scrollovers that force you to scroll through an ad before continuing, and large sticky banners which appear on mobile sites and take up excessive space on the screen. It's intrusive ads like these that drive people to ad blockers in the first place, and at some level, Google understands the reasoning behind that, as it allows both ad blocking extensions to be on the Chrome Web Store and ad blocking browsers to be on the Play Store. I have been guilty of using ad blockers as well, so you're not alone. But you no longer need those extensions or apps as Google has recently included a built-in ad blocker based on the easy list filter within their Chrome browser. If you go into the Chrome settings on Android and then site settings, you will see an option called ads. Enable it and intrusive ads will no longer show up on any website. If you're on a desktop, you can find these ads controls in settings, advanced, privacy and security, and then content settings. You can also block pop-ups, but keep in mind that some sites use pop-ups for things other than ads. Don't get it twisted though. Chrome's new ad blocker doesn't completely get rid of all ads, just annoying and intrusive ones I explained previously. Ads which meet the better ad standards set by the Coalition for Better Ads will still be seen. To determine which sites are not following those standards, Google evaluates them by examining a sample of pages, and depending on how many violations have been found, the site is given a status of passing, warning, or failing. Site owners will be notified through the Google Search Console, and once they have addressed the complaints, they can request a re-review. If the site is marked as failing, Chrome will block all ads on that website and show the user a message saying ads blocked. Google has been working on this for a while now. In the Chromium blog post that explains the new ad filters, the company stated that as of February 12, 42% of sites which had intrusive ads no longer have any. So it's clear that the new ad blocker is improving the web experience for all users while also not completely getting rid of ad revenue for website owners. If you're a Chrome user, I highly recommend you use this feature instead of installing an extension or app that blocks all ads because in doing so, you're supporting plenty of sites that rely on revenue to bring you great content. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about ad blocking and if Google is taking the right direction in only blocking intrusive ads and not all ads. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Android news, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.